Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew a fetal fabric face mask. This face mask will have a filter pocket and nose wire for support. And for this project, we're going to need fabric. I am using 100% cotton or poly cotton, but you may use the fabric of your choice. We're going to need two pieces of 7 by 14. One is going to be for the front layer and the other one for the middle layer. And for the back layer, we're going to need one piece of 6 by 14. For the middle layer, we can use fabric or we can use fusible interface. And for the ear holders, you may use any of these. If you cannot find elastic, you can use ponytail holders, t-shirts or legging strips. They are elastic and very soft on your ears. Shoelaces, thin fabric strips, ribbon or similar. In this case, I'm using very soft ponytail holders. These ones are very thick, but also very elastic. I cut them in four. With one ponytail holder, I can make two face masks. Since this face mask is fitted on your face, I think it doesn't need a nose wire, but if you wish to insert a nose wire, you may insert a pipe cleaner or a liner floral wire. Also, we're going to need sewing thread, scissors, ruler, clips or pins, cardstock or paper to print the free pattern, and of course, the pattern. You will find the link of the free patterns in the video description. And if you need to sew an extra large one, just cut half an inch extra from the large size. And if you don't have a printer, I invite you to look for my tutorial of how to draw your own pattern. Let's start. This time, I'm going to be sewing a medium adult. I'm going to start with the front layer. Fold the fabric, place the pattern on top, and secure it with clips or pins. Let's make sure we don't place pins in the center of the fabric. Next, I'm going to cut the second layer. This time, I'm using fabric as a second layer, but like I mentioned before, you may use fusible interface. And if you're using fusible interface, you will need to cut those pieces and iron them on the first layer. And if you would like to do this process, I invite you to look for my previous video where I use fusible interface. I am cutting the first and second layer separately but you may cut them all together. You put those two together, fold them in two, and cut them. Like this, it will save you some time. Also, depending on your scissors, you can cut several layers at the same time. Now, I'm going to cut the third layer. This one is going to be a little different than the previous two. For this layer, we're going to fold the tab. This layer is going to be shorter than the previous two, since this one is going to be the pocket. Fold the tab and then fold again for about one inch. Same we're going to do with the fabric. We're going to fold one inch. And like I mentioned before, if you're using pins, try not to place them in the center of the fabric.
When finished with this layer, I fold the top twice and iron. If you wish, you can only fold it once and sew it. I like to fold it twice, but this is optional. Now I'm going to put the first and second layer together before start sewing. Now I'm going to cut the corby part first on these two layers and on the third one. This is optional, but I like to sew it twice. Now I'm going to sew the sides.
And again, this is optional, but I am sewing it twice. Now I'm going to sew the bottom part. I like to give a few cuts here on the curvy areas so when I turn inside out it won't be wrinkly. And if you wish to add no support, I'm going to show you how I place the pipe cleaner. I am using the zigzag option, but if your machine doesn't have that option, you can sew it by hand, just a few stitches. Because remember, we're going to sew it at the end when we turn it inside out. Turn it inside out, straighten it and iron. Now let's fold the ends by one inch and one fourth. We're going to fold it twice. The little fold is going to be a little over one fourth of an inch and the second one close to an inch. And if you're going to use a fabric string or a shoelace, you can sew it like this and insert it after. But in this case, I'm going to use elastic ponytails I'm going to put them before I sew the last parts. I am very happy with these elastic ponytail holders. They are very stretchy and soft on your ears. If you live in the United States, you can find them at Kroger. You will find them in the baby area. They are just $1.50. The package comes with 10. Like I said before, you can cut them in four. And with one of these, you can make two face masks. Secure the fold with the elastic and sew it. You can sew only this part to secure the elastic or you can sew it all the way around. I like to sew it all the way around because I think it's stronger this way and also looks beautiful.
And here is the other option if you don't have elastic. I use a cloth pin to make it easy for me to insert the string, shoelace or paracord. And here it is, the beautiful face mask with pocket. And if you'd like to sew your own face mask, you can find the free patterns in the video description or in the comments below. Also, you can find them in my Facebook page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.